आनंद आनंद Can I see the faces? You can move on the other side. Yeah. Go in the corner so that all faces. Don't sit in the front. Then you will block somebody. Yeah. Push on the corner so that all the faces are visible. Yeah. You need not. Are you comfortable there? Huh? Are you comfortable in the floor? Okay. Where is Yegan? Taputi is there. Good. So you can you can move little left side. Bas. That's all. See this little adjustment. You know that that the spiritual power travels in a straight line like light. So if you if you can see the face, you will be you will be illumined. Not so for that. Try to see the face also. Not for that, but. For me though, again, like when I this, uh, this microphone is not very low, yes. put yeah. it very low because most of us we are only few people. Okay. Om Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshara Guru Devo Parang Brahma. Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Akhandamandalakaram Vyaptam Yena Characharam Tatvadam Darshitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Om Brahmanam Paramashukadam Kevalam Gyanamurtim Dandvatitam Gaganasadrisham Tattamashadi laksham ekam nityam vimalamachalam sarvadhi shakshi bhutam bhava kitam trimunarahitam sadgurum tang namami sadgurum tang namami So our topic is the role of Guru. Because it is two words, Guru and role. So naturally we must have to know what is called Guru, who is Guru, and then comes what is his role. Guru normally is technically that person in the pranam mantra we just uttered. 
that Akhanda Mandala Akaram in the form Akaro of Akhanda unbroken the total universe, Vyaktam, who have permeated this whole cosmos, Yena, by which it is permeated, by which it is pervaded, Tat Padam Darshitam Yena. Darshitam means has been shown to me by that person who showed that there is everywhere is the divine. God is all pervaded. You are only blinded because of your ignorance. Those who have shown this state of all pervaded consciousness, akhanda mandala akaram, vyaktam yena characharam, chara and achara. Chara means which is moving, achara, it does not move. So it permeates not only in the creatures, plants, animals, but also immovable mountains, rocks, and stable objects. He has pervaded everywhere. That kind self who points out to that and awakens our awareness to look at that in the whole world is called the Guru. Tatpadam darshitam yena tasmai to that tasmai Sri Gurave Nama. That Guru I salute. So we have to understand because of our weak points we always think Guru is a man and I love to worship, worship his feet and to get spiritual illumination. And if you can anyway manipulate him then you get the key to heaven. No. This manipulation business is not there. God can give you guidance, direction, but it is you to work. So if we go to the another definition, Brahmanandam Paramashukadam, that Ananda, Ananda Brahman, Brahmananda, which of the nature of Paramashukadam, we know what is Shukadam, who, which gives Sukha. Sukhadai, that gives Sukha. Paramananda, the supreme Ananda. We know little Ananda, eating Ananda, seeing Ananda, eh? listening Ananda. Some music, some singing, some this and that, food, this, sight and... We know those are... No, not that Ananda, Paramananda. That Ananda which supersedes everything, beyond all limitation, that Ananda. Paraman Brahmanandam Paramashukadam Kevalam Jnana Murti which is a Murti if you create a form which is made of Brahmanandam Jnana Murti he is there is nothing but knowledge there is no darkness where there is knowledge there is no darkness there is ignorance all confusion comes in ignorance you see ghost. In ignorance you see a good man, like, oh, he may kill me. In ignorance you, lo- you misjudge your friend to be your enemy, or your enemy to be your friend. So, Paramashukadam, Kevalam, Jnana Murti. And which is that Murti? Dandvati Dham. Dhamdha, what is the Dhamdha? Duality. I, you, duality, light, darkness, knowledge, ignorance, all these dualities. Otita, that's who has transcended all this, Nanda Atitam. Gagana Sadrisham, not very narrow, limited, in space time it is the Gagana Sadrisham, Gagana means the sky, like a vast sky. Great, grand, infinite. Dandati, Dham, Gagana, Sadisham. Tattama, Shari, Lakshanam. That truth is explained in the word indicated by Tat, Tvam, Ashi. Tat is that absolute truth, Brahman. Tvam 
you are washing one but i mean i see this limited person i cry and weep every day with the sufferings and pains of life or i get excited with little pampering ha 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 you are good boom 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 we get up hey you are bad ha you go down and i am that ananda ananda what is that nonsense no you are not that you feel that because you identify with your body and mind you are not the body and mind tat is that absolute god satchidananda direct of the quality of control our normal god concept is that god is sitting in the heaven with a rod in hand with a very good uh, computer <laughs> and watching who is doing what all recorded is such it is people have not invented that much but god's computer has been created long back and he is everywhere everything is recorded there you do whatever you are even not done you are thinking that is recorded there and he is now judging hey you did this 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 go to hell you did this this good go to heaven no not that god that god give up that quality god has control god loves us give up there is no two that's why god have nothing to control nobody to control because oc means unity one if there is only one who will control whom so that 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 means that whom we normally call god tom what i mean this body mind complex that tom oc means rip up this body idea rip up your mind idea rip up get out of your emotions and failures and frustration and nonsense you are much beyond that so get out of the mind get out of the body get out of the emotions get out of your intelligence get out of your ego petty ego small ego tattamo oshi then what will remain here is the same consciousness the light within and the light outside the cosmic and individual they will merge oshi i am that the same thing So that the Messiah is Lakshman. One is Nitam, and that that reality when I and Thou, God and me, God has given up His controlling power, and I have given up my limiting power. Here is a limiting uh, uh, obstacle, and there was a con- cosmic limiting aspect. So God gives us His all rulership, loving, caring, protecting, forget all these things. that is called sachidananda brahman and you get out of your body mind all this rip up rip up throw away then this consciousness and that consciousness become one absolute consciousness the infinite consciousness is limited through the ego through the mind and body if you can throw out your body mind identity you are that you cannot throw up your consciousness and that cosmic consciousness and this consciousness are all one see you chat the mantras of guru not so easy so guru shows that path that that state that you and that infinite god and you are one tattva shad lakshmi ekam that is on one absolute there is no two ekam nityam that truth is nitya nitya means eternal it is there not that today you are attain to this knowledge it will come not that it was not there before it was before it will be remaining after and it is now trikala abadhita in three times zone continuously it is there ekam nityam bimalam Mala means, mala means what? Blemish. Blemishes, dirt, dust. Be got to. There is no blemish. There is no dust and dirt in that. That means it's free, pure self. 
ekam nittam vimalam achalam and that does not chala that means does not go away does not move away achalam sarvadhi sarvadhi sakshi bhutam who is the dhi means witness buddhi our dhi and sarvadhi sakshi he stands behind your buddhi we are talking about just now in the tea tea time what is behind body behind mind behind ego behind intellect so he is the witness behind he is observing all sat situation you have read i can say all these words because you are listening all the time brahma atman sat situation na consciousness brahma so i need not have to explain every detail <laughs> but you are saying that he is the consciousness witness he is a witness <coughs> don't think your guru is that only a man see this is the guru this is the real guru sarvadhi sakshivudam he is standing behind my dhi my understanding that conscious entity standing behind you behind you behind you and every one of this entire creation is standing as witness of all sarvadhi sakshi sakshi means what he stands aside not get entangled in the court house they call witness give witness so who are, who is the witness who does not get entangled in divinity who only sees the thing i have seen sir i saw this happen this happen this sir not being involved into it neither supporting this person or not rejecting just a statement of fact so who is standing behind our all activities sarvadhi sakshi bhutam sakshi witness our good our bad our suffering our miseries our pleasure and our pain our anguish and our knowledge and our ignorance everything is he is only observing he does not say anything do 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 this go that nothing only observes sarvadhi sakshi bhutam bhavatitam bhava means it is the existence otita existence means relative existence or the moods bhavatitam bhavatitam tri guna rohitam this whole world is made of the tri gunas but there is no trace of these gunas that is the sadguru that is my guru dhanna mami i salute so who is your guru now who is your guru the man whom you see who has failures and frustrations god is our guru ha huh? god is our guru ah god is our guru then all gurus are guru So we are all children of one. So why you make it? This is my guru, your guru, this guru, that guru. Why do you say that? This tremendous knowledge when it comes through some channel, I get that knowledge through some media, and God sends that media for me to that channel. I get this wisdom, and He is my guru. Uh, but but channel is not guru. mind it channel to which it comes it is not guru you may be excited don't make the mistake the power that is coming through that that is the guru i give you the example suppose you are given a good interview not now it is in this country we don't get that type of postal delivery that right in our india previously it was postman will come to your door and give you the delivery suppose you are expecting a job and you have given an interview and a good offer of a job has come and you are expecting expecting and for a name it is not coming and suddenly the peon the the postman brings the letter of appointment you get seeing that letter of appointment from the postman you get so excited hey come come have a cup of tea with me <laughs> the postman is that has nothing to do with it <laughs> he carries the <laughs> carries the delivery so the infinite energy that is consciousness that is divine that is unchanging that is the witness eternal consciousness that is the message coming that is the power he is only the carrier 
So we must have respect. Yes, that's why we uh, like that. Oh, he is a God sent person, no? He has no clue of it. He himself does not know. The postman does not know that he is carrying this message. Or postman does not know that in, in an in a envelope there is a check of one million dollars. He does not know. He only delivers. But because you are expecting that, and your all love and adoration goes to the postman. <laughs> yeah, that, that is as, as, as human. I am not saying that we should not respect our gurus. But don't make this mistake, Guru is the man who has given you the initiation. That is this, the, the, the transmission of energy, the transmission of power which has come into our life during that time, that is called Guru. So very important point, this is the Guru. And you know, in the morning we said, Bhava Sagar Tarano Karano He. What you are saying? Bhava Sagar Patarano Karano. You are the cause. You are the cause of Bhava Sagar Tarano. To cross the ocean of the world and worldliness. Karano He. Rogi Nandana. That what is that? Bandana. Kandana Bandana. So everywhere in the Guru Vandana, what you are using in all this terminology. And, but don't make the mistake that take the energy which has been transmitted, follow the instruction what has been given, and not get stuck into the uh, teaching, uh, only the form, outside form of your Guru, and make him Guru, 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 Vad. So, role of Guru is that to transmit the tremendous energy of the Divine to connect with me and so that my eyes are open. Agyano timiranasya. Agyano means ignorance. Timira means the dark. Andha, which by blinding darkness. So, he who removes that, that is the tremendous energy which comes to us through God's grace, through His grace, that releases us from all bondage and makes us free. So that is the Guru Shakti we call. That's a Guru. It's not Guru. It's called the Guru Shakti. And that we get when we get from anyone who is giving us that, we call him the carrier of that message, the bringer of the spiritual energy into our life. We are indebted to them forever in our life because they have connected us with the Divine. No? So, role of Guru is a very important point. Role of Guru is what? Guru's role is very simple. Uh, our, our, in our tradition we say Guru is a matchmaker. <laughs> <laughs> guru only, here is God. And if you are searching for God, so I connect you. And Guru goes away. Huh? Guru says, now it is your business. You have your relationship. I have set the relationship. So, now you have to work between you. How will you do? Okay, do this way, do that way. And you can get connected with him. This way, by meditation, by prayer, by this mantra. You chant this way, mantra this way. All these instructions are given. Just connecting. Ramakrishna said, Guru Hoche, Guru Hoche, Setho. Setho is a colloquial term in Bengal. Setho means Sati. Sati means friend. And Sri Ramakrishna says, Guru is like a Setho. Setho means like a friend. He takes your hand and takes you and shows you, that is the thing, go. So Guru is like Setho. The role of Guru is to us pointing out that truth which is beyond duality, which is beyond darkness, which is beyond the pettiness and littleness, the suffering and pleasure and pain, all these dualities. That is the Guru Shakti, that is Brahma. That's why Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deva, Mahishwara, Guru Deva, Param Brahma. The Guru is Param Brahma. How will be Guru Param Brahma? Is the body, body will be Param Brahma? No. So the, this, this, who is standing behind the Guru, 
and brought that energy to me. So he is my guru and following the instruction we want to get out of our life struggles and, uh, and, and our ignorance, to get out of the ignorance. So important point is that guru is that, you know, and particularly when incarnations come, God himself comes. And God, when God himself comes, a tremendous energy, infinite energy, as, as you mean, concentrated energy, manifests to that incarnation, Rama, Krishna, Buddha, Christ. That's why you see, their Guru Shakti is flooding the whole world. Christ is flooding that energy for 2000 years. Buddha, 2500 years. Huh? The energy, concentrated flow of energy descended. How it transmitted? That Guru Shakti, that transcendental energy, dawned for the good of humanity as Rama, Krishna, Buddha, Shankara, Christ, Rama, Krishna. And when that comes, Sri Chaitanya, when they come, and that tremendous energy which is regenerated in their life, Guru, that is the real Guru. In the in Khandan of Abhava you sang, and at the, same, at the end of that song, what did you say? Jai Sri Guru Maharaj Ji Ki Jai What you are saying? Whom you are saying Guru Maharaj? Maharaj means honorable. In the, in the Hindi, Hindi language it is honorable. Honorable sir. That is called Maharaj. Huh? So Guru Maharaj is that. That, that. that infinite which is transcendental reality. When he dawns, he comes down in the human body and to help the whole humanity for ages, thousands of years, that energy when it comes down, that's a compact energy and like a capsule form. And that's why that is transmitted to their disciple. And their disciple, they become the dynamo of that. They are the carriers. It's like the high tension line, 11,000 volt. Huh? You cannot function with the 11,000 volt. If you touch, you will be burnt and gone. So what will it do? We do step down transformer. Does it make sense? You may say, I would have come to Ramakrishna. <laughs> you will not get anything, you will be lost. It's such a tremendous energy, you need some strength to withstand that. That purity, that strength of character, that state of mind is very difficult. That's a step down. So that energy has channelized through Vivekananda, through Brahmananda, through Shivananda. And they have channelized that step down energy, same power. Look at that power. Power is the electric power. Strong, powerful energy. And then coming down to uh, their disciple, to their disciple. But what is coming? Is coming down with compassion to us, with the step down transformer. If it is high voltage transformer, we sometimes think, eh, what was when Ramakrishna was there? When Brahmananda was there? Ha ha ha, what a great. Are you will be burned there. You will not be able to reach them. So you need a step. Our functional electricity is 110 volt. Huh? Is not? Yes. Now you bring 500 volt here. What will happen? All the bulbs? Combined. Boom. So, yeah, it can withstand 500 volt if you increase its capacity. Our nerves are so weak. With little emotion we cry. Someone says something, no, <laughs> with this energy you will carry thousand volt. <laughs> it's not. Your ten volt is enough for you. Five volt is enough for you. <laughs> so that's why spiritual life starts with recharging yourself, to, to building up your character and to make a bid. That's why it is, don't compare, oh ho. The earlier days, they are great sadhus and they are great people and my guru is like this, their guru was like that. Oh, did you know? 
<laughs> Don't make this mistake. Understand the electricity, the energy that need to light the bulb in us. And for my little capacity, five volt is enough. Do you see? Now suppose so many lights are there. In the deep darkness, your night lamp it floods the whole room. Does it not? When you sleep, get up in the night time. Right. From the deep darkness you open up, one night lamp, so low in manifestation, you can see everything in the room, which you are seeing now with this high power. So the question is that, that Guru is the Guru Shakti, it is the electricity which gives us our functionality of life, spiritual functionality. As in material functionality, your computer is functioning, your light is on, your air condition is rotating, all are the functionality of the energy behind. So in our day-to-day -day life, how can we function and see the energy of the Divine through this channel? So that who corrects us, that, that there is a step-down transformer there, and you apply to the company, what they do? They bring a wire and that is flowing there. They only connect to your home. This home is a home, it needs little light. So our gurus, they come, okay, here is the voltage line, here are you, boom, connected. Now is whose duty? <laughs> now is the duty of all depends on us. Guru's role is done. But Guru's role is there if you want something, sometimes in any problem, Guru can guide you, you can tell you, because Guru is who? Let us come to the human Guru now. Human Guru is that who have got that energy from their Guru, their, their predecessor, eh, where the energy came down, as I say, when incarnation comes, a huge amount million volt light is that. And that's why it permeates and it takes such a long time to flood the whole world. That's why two types of Guru. Manus Guru, Mantra Dan, Kane. Jagat Guru, Mantra Dan, Prane. Understand? Manus Guru, the human Guru, gives us mantra the same energy to give that, say, this is mantra, this is the practice, this type, and gives in the ear. That's why you say, what is the mantra? And don't tell anybody. This is the mantra, and give it to whisper in the ear. But Jagat Guru, the world teacher, like Christ, Buddhas, Ramas, Krishnas, they inspire in your heart. But they work through certain instrumentalities. And those chosen instrumentalities are we call our gurus. So that now let us go come to the natural things you know that what is guru? Who is guru? Sutriya Abhijino Akamahata. That person is Shrotriya. Shrotriya means he has studied the scriptures, understands the significance, not he is clear himself about the essential meaning of the scriptures. We read scriptures, but to understand scripture we need some commentator. Why you need Shankaracharya to read the Bhagavad Gita? Because there are so many explanations, so many ways of thinking. But Shankara being God Himself when He incarnated, He gave a clear explanation. This means this. This, that is the right track. So we get the instruction from them and understand the real essential meaning of that particular verse. Shatriya. Then that's why Guru should be, who is our Guru, should know at least the scripture. Vedas, Upanishads, Gita, not only know intellectually like a scholar, but knows the essential meaning, what it indicates, 
what this verse is t- telling us. The essential meaning, superficial meaning may be one, indicative meaning will be another. What it indicates, what is the essential purpose of saying, kene shitan preshitan tatati mana, a question student raises, by whose, by whom, kena ishitan desired by whom, my mind falls on the sense objects and the eyes are drawn into that, senses are drawn into it. Huh? Who is that? And then the response comes, Shutra Shashutram is the eye, not this eye, the real eye behind that. Manasho Manu, that you feel your mind? No, 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 it's the essence behind the mind. Now, it's a big, big term. Who oh, is that eye of the eye? What is that? How will you understand that? That's why you go to the commentator. Similarly, the Guru should know the, what is the essential meaning of these verses, reading the scriptures and things. No confusion. Many people create confusion more by explaining, as we do, no? <laughs> Giving explanation, creating more confusion in the mind. Because blind leading the blind. He himself never knew the real meaning and he is explaining something. So it is called that Guru should know the meaning, real import and the meaning of the scripture. What script, all the scriptures are talking, the world religion, everyone is talking about God. But why there is so much fight in the name of God? Is not all the preachers in all religion are trying to explain what God said? The Bible said this, Quran said this, Gita said this, we are all saying like that, Upanishad said this, okay? But why are you fighting? If God is only one, why are you fighting? Why are you saying someone to hate, someone to kill? That is not the Guru. Guru does not understand he himself does not understand the true meaning of Quran, true meaning of the Dhammapad, true meaning of the Gita, true meaning of the Upanishads, that God and only one God and He is Satchidananda God. He is the absolute joy, absolute bliss, absolute reality. So that he should understand. That's the Guru, first quality, Shotya. Then Abhrijino. He should be free from all blemishes, blemishes of character. Character is very important in monastic life, if not in spiritual life. A teacher should be pure and stainless in character. No person of impure mind can be a teacher. It is not in a university you go to learn one subject, say physics, chemistry, math, engineering, this, that. If the teacher is quite intelligent and understood the subject and explains whatever and that satisfies our mind, he is the best teacher. That's enough. We don't have to look what is his character. Whether he is a liar, whether he cheats, whether he being a teacher does not allow his students to get PhD easily. You need not have to look at any of those characters. Honest, dishonest, nothing necessary. The subject is that and the student wants to learn and the teacher is good enough to clean and clear the ideas. No? That is called the... But spiritual teacher? No. You are not only knowing intellectually things, but your character should be stainless and pure. And third, very important, o kamahata. There will be no desire for the teacher that by getting this student I will get good money. He will be my disciple. So I will be the guru. And then he will come. And he is a very educated, highly established person in society. I will be honored because I am his guru. No expectation of anything. This guru will be unselfish only for the good of the disciple. 
Because in the, in the, in the Viveka Churamani this has been very clearly uh, stated. Hmm. So Guru, a person approaching Guru, then Guru will be out of karuna, compassion. Hmm. He will say, Samshar Shinda Staranyastupaya Jena Ivayata Jatayo So he says, yes, Samshar Dodhiyo Manam Duradishtavati, the student will say, I am really lost in this world's life, life's situation. I am struggling and I am burning in pain and miseries in the life. Oh, please, please help me. And seeing this sincerity of the student, the teacher will be then out of compassion. He will say, Mahavishta Vidwan, my child, don't get afraid. First point, I am troubled, I am fearful. With that fear you go to the teacher, the first work of the teacher is that teacher will do, Mahavishta Vidwan. You are a Vidwan. Maybe not you are a PhD or you are not a Nobel laureate. No. But you are a Vidwan. You have understood this life and its pain and suffering. And it does not give pleasure. It brings momentary joy. You have understood that. And you want to get out of it. Mahavishta Vidwan Tabunasti Apayo. There is no fear. There is no loss for you. Sansara Shindo Tabunasti Apayo. There is a way to cross the Sangshara Sindhu, ocean of Sangshara. Sangshara means Sangsharati, it is Sangshara, which is every time changing and moving and passing and going away. This Sangshara, everything is changing. Whom you can trust? You cannot trust yourself. Your body is changing every second. Every relationship is changing every second. We are die one day, that change is coming. In this changeful universe, samsara, it is this called, but it is samsara, titi samsara. This, it is like an ocean, wherever you look, it is all changing. The sun is changing, moon is changing, your garden is blooming today, it is dying next day. Huh? Your building is becoming old, physical body is becoming old, and then going to doctor and repairing and coming back and again pushing into the hospital again, uh, changing this with medicine and with uh, screwing and this and that, and knee surgery, ban, all this. It's happening, it's changing, changing, changing. In this world of change, Sangshar Sindhu, Taraneo Stupayo, this is Sangshar Sindhu, which is changing. But there is a way to cross this ocean of changing universe. Samsara Sindhu Staranyo Stupayo. And then what is the next line? Yena Iva Yada Jataya. By following that track by which previously hundreds and thousands of people have crossed the ocean of life. Tena Iva Margam Tabudarsayami. I will teach you that path. Don't worry. I have a means. That is the Guru, out of infinite compassion, then teaches him the truth of spirituality. And that is the purpose. See, it is out of compassion. It is not a business. You go to meditation centers and say, today you give $200, the first series of uh, one, week, one week treatment. Okay? Then you get one in one week, your spiritual attainment of six inches. And then you give another day, another five hundred dollars for the next series of meditation or spiritual instruction series. No. And then again, then again, then again. So when you pay ten thousand, then you realize samadhi. (laughs) (laughs) This does not conform to the spiritual tradition of India and spiritual saints. So guru should be, these qualities are guru's quality. First of all, he should be knowing the scriptures. He will not teach you something whimsically out of his own mind. What he says, everything you can match with the scripture. And that is the intention of the scripture. Scripture means that. So he has correct understanding, he has advanced in this life, he has matured in this life, he has done effort, and then he can guide us. 
first quality is he should know the scriptures. One point. Second point, abrijino, his life is purity, purity of life, and he is not kama, akama hato, not kama means desire, full of desire to fulfill this desire using the because motivation. There is no motive, not non motivation, but motive. There is no false motive behind it of this this good being a guru. That means his mind is so pure, he has nothing to ask from anyone. He is satisfied with himself. So why you will ask anything in your world? The world can give. It can give some few pennies and money and this and that which will go away tomorrow. But they can, being established in that knowledge which is perpetual, they can distribute that out of compassion, out of love. That's why it's called relationship between the teacher and the student. It's not a business, not of any other connection. It is only love and respect. This is the relationship. And there, what is that subject? Subject is God. How to tune with God? You know enough of the world, changing world. You don't need to go to God. That's why I said, don't go to your guru and talk about stock market. <laughs> ah, there are people, experts in the world, who can, who knows what is stock market. And if you really go to a guru and follow his instruction, you will be a failure. <laughs> because he does not know <laughs> where to invest. He has not studied that subject. And if you believe, oh my Gurudev, 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 Gurudev said that to do this. Don't listen to Gurudev for worldly things. Only Gurudev is for spiritual thing. But out of respect we do that. That's a different thing. And your faith will carry it on. But the point is that be realistic. That is the role of the Guru to give this wisdom, that compact energy of spirituality which he got from his Guru, his Guru, his Guru. And if we say in a tradition of this Vedanta tradition in Ramakrishna, the tremendous energy generated in the sadhana of Ramakrishna, that power which excels all the other spirituality as if in one place, compact spirituality, chit, ganakai, is not made of flesh and bone. Ramakrishna is not made of flesh and bone. It is made of chit, means consciousness. Bliss, ananda, peace. She, if she subtle qualities like consciousness, bliss, joy, peace, eternal, compacted one. You know, milk, when you boil the milk, slow in slow heat, what happens? So much five pound of milk will be, how much it will be? When it becomes, what do you call, sheer? Small, 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 but then you can contact, you can hold it within your palm. Maybe five pound of milk, maybe little, so small. But it is compact. It is much intense than that of drinking one cup of milk. You cannot take one cup of, um, what do you call it, kheer, um, or eh? equal to one glass of water, milk, you know. So it is compact energy, and that energy has a purifying power. That energy has a purifying power, and that purifying power works in the way when you follow the instruction, and you follow the mantra, you follow the practice, then all the draws of the mind will be clear and clear and clear and and the reality will manifest itself. So this practice is very important. Swami Vivekananda said, no, the seed should be powerful, strong, powerful seed and the field should be ready. Is it not? Suppose you bring some fried rice, a pop rice, you want to put it in the ground. Will it grow any, 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 any grain will come out of that? No. 
So the seed should be powerful. That means that mantra which you are getting from Guru, that should be powerful. Means coming from that person, he adds the energy into it. It is not the words only. Mantras are not words. These are the energy expressed in language. The tremendous purity, tremendous truth when expressed in the language, in the words, those are Om, other mantras, Bija mantras, these are that powerful of things. That should be strong, that should be powerful. When it comes from a person of spiritual personality, that energy is powerfully transmitted there. That's one point. But where you put? The ground should be fertile. If you put in a rock, then throw into the rock. What will happen? It will remain there forever. No sprout will come. So they prepare the ground. The student should be ready. Student's ground should be very clean, free from weeds, remove the weeds, make it ready for, with fertilizer, everything, and put the seed in time. No. You see how quickly it will manifest as a plant. So this is very important. Students' containers should be pure to receive that. Ready. I want it. If you don't want, suppose you don't want, you are not hungry, and someone brings a wonderful, delicious dish, please eat that. What will you say? That wonderful, delicious dish is no meaning for you then. You should be hungry for that. The student should be hungry for God. He wants God. And the teacher should have no other motivation but to just help. Because he is seeking for, as he himself was seeking for, and went to his guru, Sasper guru, and the kind guru gave that energy to that student. So similarly, the student when he comes to that guru, he will be. It is like, you know, another example is given. There was one Swami, I told it maybe before also. Swami Madhavananda, he was our uh, seventh, eighth, ninth president of our order. <laughs> Swami Brahmananda was the first president, Shivananda, like that. Akhandananda, Vijnananda, then Shuddhananda, Virajananda, then Sankarananda, then Madhavananda. So the Madhavananda Sami was the general secretary, the uh, CEO of our Ramakrishna order, no? So, so one day, one day, in those days, Belur Mat was very poor. They have no, no, no car or nothing, even the general secretary. So he will have to go to the bus, like any public person. So he has a file. Probably there was something to do with the Swami in the Udbodan who was in church. Anyhow, so he is finishing that work. He is going back to Belur Mat. In those days, near Bhagbajar mother's house, there is a bus. Even till now it is there. It is called the uh, bus number three, <laughs> Sri Rampur bus. <laughs> so that bus was to just going to catch the bus. So some old time devotees who were maybe Brahmananda Maharaj's disciple, Holy Mother disciple, they were following him. He is also Holy Mother, Brahmananda, Holy Mother's disciple, no, Brahmananda Maharaj's disciple. And he the devotee is following him and saying that, uh, so I have a question. So Madhavanand Swami was a person uh, very accurate in his statement. He does not uh, just say anything superfluous. Very correct, very to the point and is considered one of the top uh, intellectual person in our order, spiritual person in our order. So when he was coming, one of the devotees said, Maharaj, nowadays, this is a common thing we all say, hey, no, nowadays, this Belur Mat has gone down. <laughs> yeah? 
वेर इज द टाइम ऑफ महाराज राजा महाराज शिव महापुरुष महाराज एंड व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन आई है सी इवन नाउ पीपुल से हे नाउ नॉट हैज गॉन लाइक दैट है व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन यर ऑल दैट देस आई एम जॉय इन सेइंग लाइक दैट सो माधवानंद स्वामी जस्ट लिसन and he is walking walking and but still he is continuously saying no those days are gone those state of purity that state of vibrant spiritual mode all charged in spirituality it is gone that is it so he was then waiting and he went to the bus stop and the bus was about to leave he just said you know the purifying power of ganga holy ganga is as is in the gomuk where the source of ganga stainless pure only snow white the, but the purifying power is the same now see the ganga flows down and comes down to benaras it is mixed with dart and dart it looks like ganga is polluted But the purifying power, you take the Ganga and sprinkle. The purifying power is the same. Purifying power did not drop a little bit, but because of the journey, because of the man's use and misuse, it looks like little dirty. But the inner energy, the power, have never has not gone an inch. So you come to the Belur Ganga, Belur Mat Ganga. How much dust and dirt has, how much waste of the uh, factories and these has been put into the Mother Ganga? You we'll take the Ganga water, sprinkle, you feel pure. The purity, the strength and power of the Ganga water has now had been decreased a little, though it appears outwardly because of the mass, mass movement. Eh? When masses come, naturally it appears like that. So the power, the Guru Shakti is like that. Don't mind the power when it comes to us through any Guru. It is not the. Don't look at the person through whom you get that energy, but the, that energy that is flowing through that person. That's why remember your Guru at the time of initiation. That is your Guru. He was not, though he was human. that is the divine guru because the inspiration is coming from there the mantra is coming from there the instruction is coming from there and feel that he was a different person he was giving chan he became the channel at that time and that's why follow that practice that the seed mantra which has been given in your mantra it will automatically flourish because it is a live seed regenerated again you know you know your towers this uh, telephone towers or not how to call the our uh, this company's towers for phone telecom, telecom towers when it vibration gets little uh, weak they put a booster so the mantra has its own power but it appears to be little waning 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 and the guru who has practiced that in his life again revive that energy back and transmits it so that is the guru shakti and that is the role of guru he is only to hand over that energy to the next and next so that everyone becomes established in the true knowledge of the self so i have seen that i have talked enough But if you have any question for few minutes, no oh, question. No one is question. Mm -hmm. It will take little time to come out of.
Ramakrishna is saying, you know who Guru will be, Guru is. He who sees your future with himself or herself, and so on. Am I understanding it right that when we take the example within the order, or even whatever, uh, we are actually still fulfilling Sama Krishna's criteria because we are really getting initiation from Sri Ramakrishna himself through the fire or whatever way you say that, how? So the human uh, who is not, well I don't know that, but uh, so uh, it will be, uh, how? How can, you, how can it be compatible? No, you said that uh, Sri Guru, Sri Ramakrishna said that Guru is he who knows past, present and future. So here that is the Jagat Guru when the Holy Mother used to give mantra, looking at that person, she could understand what is the past, present, future. Ramakrishna could see, he said, I could see like things in a glass case. What is in your mind? Looking at you, Ramakrishna looking at me could understand what is in my mind. But for our, our situation, certainly not. That is not necessary. Your condition is that I am seeking for truth and I want some way to get out. What is my past, present, future is not necessary. Only you may say that question that yes it is necessary to who is my Easter Devo. It may be my may be Kali, yours may be Durga, there may be Saraswati, this may be Rama, some may be Krishna, some may be Christ. How do you know? You don't know my past, present, future. Here, yeah. in this, there is some easy solution of it. Easy solution is that, as Sri Ramakrishna practiced all religions, and in his life we find that he, all the gods and goddesses, when he experienced, merged in his body. So, when we talk about Ramakrishna, then what happens? He gets whatever is samaskara. God will appear in that way. This is the greatest solution. And that's why we say, now from this day, after initiation, you enjoy God everywhere. Go to the mosque, go to the church, feel that your Ramakrishna is being worshipped in that way. So it solves all these problems, rather specifically, who is my past? He is not excluded. In my past, suppose someone was worshipping Mother Kali in a past life, that that is the sanskara. If someone knows the past, Holy Mother. In those days that was the concept. Someone says, whom do you like? The student will say, oh, I like Krishna. Maybe you think that you love Krishna, but Mother will just stay for a moment. Well, no, 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 your mantra is not like that. And she will give maybe other mantra. Meaning what? She sees her tendencies so that that mantra is given. But here, <coughs> that mantra remains, that Ishtadevata remains intact in, in a combined form, Sarva Deva Devi Sarupa. That's why that reconciliation is done. And moreover, time has changed now. In this modern age, the old timers they think of Mother Kali, Durga, Shiva like that. But young generation, they are more modern. They will like incarnation much more easily to absorb rather than this old concept. And it is, that's, that's why here is a reconciliation that it is not excluding the past impression. And we need not have to know, as we said, the energy will clean everything. The tremendous energy which is coming from the Guru Parampara, hmm. that will clear out the doubts and confusions of the student. Uh, no question, just would you please tell us a little bit about uh, Swami Shankaranandaji Maharaj? Yeah. yeah. What, what to say about Shankaranandaji? Whatever you like. No, that is not the question, you say something. 
Sankaranand Goswami, what shall I say? He was a, I have to tell his story, my life story now. <laughs> that is not the question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sankaranand Maharaj was Swami initiated by Brahmananda Swami, he saw Swami Vivekananda even. Twice he saw Vivekananda. One at Balloon Mart. That is a young boy. He came to visit. And Swami Vivekananda came down from the stairs and looked at him. And then and so many others were there. He was one of them. And Vivekananda looked at him and then didn't say anything. He saw and that, that impression remained in his mind. And another time he saw Swami Vivekananda in the Dakshineshwar uh, when Ramakrishna's annual festivity was going on. One year they allowed, next year they didn't. So that, that year he saw somebody with the strong personality supervising all the things going on in perfect order and they came he, and, and he knew that it, he came to know later on that that was Vivekananda. He so young, he didn't have that much uh, beyond this. And then he came to Swami Brahmananda and he was very uh, skillful in performing any activity, perfectionist, very perfectionist. And Maharaj used to like him. He was the personal secretary of Swami Brahmananda. And he, he, was, he was a very deep spiritual personality. In his presence you can feel that. Uh, as is our gurus are like that. And he was the president, uh, seventh president of our order. Uh, he was the vice president for a long time. After Swami Brahmananda passing away, he became the trustee of the Ramakrishna order. And he actually built up the uh, Bhuvaneshwar, Bhuvaneshwar Mott. Uh, with the guidance of Swami Brahmananda, Brahmananda Maharaj always asked to create something. And with his idea, uh, the entire uh, construction of the temple, the house, and, uh, and the gate, etc., what you find, it was his, his, his support and his supervision. And he was a, what shall I say more, you know, sadhu with perfection, with integrity of character and strength and spirituality. In not sell that. There is a book. Book has come out. When you go to uh, when you go to Calcutta, purchase that book, Shankarananda, and edited by me. You will find that. Shankar, what a book Swami Shankarananda is the name of the book. There you can find many history, many stories, many things. It's about maybe 300 or more pages book. Now the way Shami Virajarandaji is remembered, like this is like valor and like strength and the way and, and this ma this Paramartha Prasanga is there, you can probably give some of his how he used to think. How do you remember Shami Virajarandaji? Well, do you think that these messages will be different for uh, other person? This is the eternal message. You can find in read that book, you will find many instructions there. What instruction? The same instruction. Love God, do japa, meditation, uh, don't give up. These are the same talk. See, what new thing will you hear about? Say what Brahmananda said in the Eternal Companion. What uh, Bhidhujananda said, Sami said in the uh, Paramartha Prasanga or the Gold Supreme. That's the eternal message. Ramakrishna said in Gospel. More Brahma, Swami uh, Shankarananda was very, uh, not very eager to say anything. You go and put any question, read gospel. <laughs> <laughs> all questions have been solved there. All the replies have been given. What more you want? Any time that is very difficult to put him any question, he does not want unnecessary talk. Have you read gospel? You said yes. Go and read again. <laughs> so it was very simple thing that you every question which human mind can have, it been re this, is, this reply is available in the gospel. You read gospel and find that God Himself telling you, don't get there. 
you are going to Tika and Bhasa. You don't go to the original. You go to commentary and his commentary and his commentary. No? Go to the original. The gospel is available. Read the gospel. Tell him what the gospel says. God is the only one goal of life. Uh, love God. With, uh, so whatever he says, have ecstasy, sing some song and say, get absorbed in God. You don't get sufficient food from there. You want another tikka, vasa, vasa, vasa. That's why he says, I don't want to spend time for that. You will understand. You practice. Main thing is that our practice is important. Suppose you go to a, uh, a student, uh, a student, uh, go to a college and the teacher gives so many lessons. That's why we used to think, bah, teacher gave and came, give me so many lessons and I have to work so hard. Uh, school, is it not? The teacher gives you so many lessons. No? no? <laughs> <laughs> In our time, teachers used to give, say, this twenty um, cal- ma- math, you come the next day with this, uh, solving this twenty questions. My God! The teacher said only once, and I have to work for so, so long after coming back. What do you do after coming from this school? I just eat and then I study. Uh, and then study. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the next day you get ready. You have to study. So this is spiritual life is also, we have to do. What? Let's see. Uh, uh, guru is... Uh, <laughs> guru's function is to... Okay, there is one, one statement. <laughs> a student went to find a guru. And searched here and there and there. And he went to one place. And asked, Sir, I want to learn the spiritual lessons, but I want to know first what is the duty of a guru and what is the duty of a disciple. Then the guru said, a guru's duty is to give spiritual advice and study scriptures and things. What is the duty of a disciple? A disciple's duty will have to do all the chore works in the ashram. You have to go to bring the firewood and prepare the chapatis in the morning for breakfast, chop the vegetables and this and that, make a curry, and then clean the dishes and things, and then you prepare for the lunch, and in between you have to study and then meditate, and then do again for the lunch, and do again after that, clean, lean, lean, and Guru will rest a little bit, and then you do in the afternoon something for the night meal, like that, that. He is listening all this long list. He said, Pahle mere ko guru bana lejiye. <laughs> Make me guru first. <laughs> because it is easy. Guru is only giving advice and eating and sleeping. <laughs> so it is the easier job. <laughs> you are talking me to do this chore of work and then making chapatis and boiling firewood and doing all these things. So that is the point. We need to work hard. What Guru gives us? It is, it, that is the point in our tradition. You need, Guru does not come every day to say, do this, do that. It is not necessary. What is given in the time of initiation, everything is given there. Only you practice and as you practice as sincerely, you will feel the change what is coming in you. Huh? It is, we always in the West have a tendency to know new techniques. What technique? Technique of meditation. A new technique. And a new technique is not you have given the greatest technique which will unveil the secrets of this mystery of life. So follow that and get the result. My question is, um, is student in uh, spiritual pathway always need the mantra um, in Ramakrishna order? No, you need not have to take from Ramakrishna order, you would get from anywhere. But you, why you go to Ramakrishna order? Because we believe that they are honest people. We believe they are man of character. We believe they are purity of the heart. We believe that they have no motivation, other motivation. Any guru, guru is guru. Not it is limited in the Ramakrishna order. There are holy people anywhere. 
but that holy people which resonates your mind and your tradition your mentality who can understand yes you can get anywhere but in our tradition not everyone is guru understand this in whole of india all the president and vice presidents give mantra because our president are very not physically able to cope up with the needs of the people who are asking for mantra and initiation so president appoints some spiritual people in our highest in our order where president decides among them some of them they give only initiation in india four three four people uh, they give initiation in india and in this country they also assign it is a holy duty to they say you give initiation and not only say but you have to go and to learn what is the way how it is given how is the tradition what mantra to give what etc etc that comes from guru to guru to guru so that is the way that we are not very rigid for that you find guru anywhere you can find that this tradition what we like you know because it is a vibrant tradition of the the, the other day the other day ramakrishna was there the other day he practiced the harmony of religion he he saw in other tradition that is the one point is that they become one sided Uh, if i uh, i belong to one particular religion one particular sect of hinduism even shiva devotees will only be focused on shiva but they cannot release that much when you go to a vishnu temple but this ramakrishna tradition is so unique you can go anywhere and you can be enjoy the sincerity the the song the music the uh, intensity of their spiritual practice you can enjoy everywhere you can sing with the hari krishna people dance with the hari krishna people you can meditate with the uh, yoga yogis um, uh, uh, you can be free with the um, different faith traditions of india you can go to the bahai faith you can go to the church mosque we go everywhere and now we are very open and we enjoy it it is not with reservation oh i love this god but that i am going to that temple okay that is also good not that it is equal the same worship place all the worship places in the world are calling upon god and he is calling my god in different names so this vedantic perspective is so open here <coughs> maybe in other some centers some mm, religious organization may have that so that say we don't say it you have to be only here but the advantage of this is this that you can reconcile anywhere and you become broad becoming a ramakrishna's school you get initiated and you become uh, self centered you become very orthodox or limited vision that you are not following ramakrishna all in bishing that is the past by vedantic background with that background this teaches us every day that's why it is more congenial for that type of mindset but every path is path no problem so shall we end here yeah 9 o'clock almost anything more no Thank you, Bhagat. Again, we have uh, two sessions tomorrow, 4 p.m. Japan meditation, and after our team med- uh, meditation at 6:30, 7:30 we will start with live teachings of Lord Krishna. We can we go down to dinner now. Who will be? शांति 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 हरि ओ तत्सत्मकृष्णापण अस्तु